Okay, so we have collected our data using the tally mark sheet. Now what we need to do is use this data and put it into a bar graph. Now, how do we do the bar graph? It's very simple. So what we first need to do is have a title for the bar graph. So in this case, we are going to call it, which cake do we like the most? So just like a story, we just put a name on the top. So which cake do we like the most? Okay, now we have two, two lines, one on the left hand side, we can use our ruler, just go straight down, and another line this way, going from left to right. Now these lines are both called axis. Now this, this axis, axis is for numbers. So in this case, we would write the number of people. Number of people. So this would signify the number of people that like which cake. And this axis down here, we would use it for the types of cake. Okay, now if we have a look at our tally mark sheet. So my one is on the computer. We need to look for the biggest number. So the biggest number is 11. So this would mean the top number would be 11. So I would start from zero in the corner and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 11 on the top. Now the types of cake we have. So first is Christmas pudding, so in nice neat writing, Christmas pudding, and we put a line like that. Next cake is vanilla butter cake, and another line through there, and chocolate mud cake. Cake and another line. You can use your ruler if you need to. So now what we need to do is first is the Christmas pudding. So we have nine Christmas pudding. So what I need to do, or well this is what we should have done earlier, is put a little dot just so we know where to go. Okay. So nine people like Christmas pudding. So from here, we're going to draw a line to where we think matches here and go straight down. And then we do a quick color in like so. Next, we look at the vanilla butter cake and we see four people like that. So we go to number four a line and down. You can also use your ruler if you feel it's easier. We colour that in. And last we do the chocolate mud cake and 11 people have chocolate mud cake. So from here we use a line. We go up to the top because that was our top number. Up to 11. And down. And we colour in. Now if you use your activity books, they should already have lines in them, so it's a bit easier. So that is our bar graph, and that's finished. And that's quite easy. Now the reason why we do this is if someone that doesn't know what we are doing asks us, which cake do we like the most, we can give them this bar graph and they can see straight away that the chocolate mud cake is the most popular cake.